everybody welcome to my channel nana m my name is lynn and if you're new a very warm welcome to you and if you are a returning subscriber it's lovely to see you back now then today's video is a bits and bobs so there's all kinds of everything in it i will have a little chat first and then i'm going to show you some um vintage buys all shoes i think all clerks as well um one fail but the rest are absolutely fine and i do have another pair on the way but they haven't arrived in time for this video so if they do come before i post it i will just add it in and uh, so let me t what what have i been up to well today it's absolutely throwing it down this morning i went for a sunbed because as you know i'm going on holiday quite soon and then when i came back i decided that i'm not fit well, it's not not when I came back, I decided I'm not fit. I decided I'm not fit because Joanne called in on her way back from the gym the other day. And she doesn't just do the gym, she does classes as well. And she was kind of telling me about this. I don't know what it's called. It might be spinning. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's kind of like a... Between Pilates and between yoga. So she said, I think you'd like it, Mum. So then she said, <laughs> can you do this? And she had me down on the floor trying to do things. No way could I do what she could do. Absolutely impossible. So I thought to myself, you're so unfit, Lynn, and I'm so stiff. That's what I noticed more than anything, the stiffness. Um, I, I couldn't even get up properly. I couldn't get down properly without going on all four knees first. And then I had to go on all four knees to pull myself back up again. <laughs> we were hysterical. So this morning I thought, I know what I'm going to do. Um, Kim from um, Finding My Style once mentioned that she was doing this thing on YouTube where she followed this lady and she just does like what they call a very mild walking um, exercise routine. I think it was 27 minutes. I could be wrong. And at the end of it all, you'd done 3,000 steps. So I thought I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it every morning. Anyway, you should have seen me when I'd finished. I managed to complete it, but I was sweating. My fringe was sticking to my forehead. <laughs> I were out of breath. My heart were going 10 to a dozen. Honestly, so unfit. Makes you realise. So I am going to try if I can, to keep it up. So now I know at least I've done, I don't, I don't know how many calories I burnt, but I did do 3,000 steps. And it was kind of, move, you know, moving your arms and everything and your legs. So I just thought, um, mm, I'm, I'm going to carry on with that. So that's what I've been doing this morning. So as part of this video, I'm going to do the dialect review. And this particular month, I'm doing vibrant woods now there's a story with this my son will only use um well he'll use whatever he likes using but he only has light very expensive um aftershave perfume for men and he uses um creed is it adventus creed and whenever he comes honestly he smells absolutely adorable doesn't just use that one anymore. He's got quite a few now, but that was the one that he started off with when he started buying really expensive perfumes for men. And um, he, came, he called around the other day and I said, now then, I want you to do something for me. He said, yeah, okay, mum. <laughs> I want you to give me your honest opinion on a perfume. So I came upstairs and I got Vibrant Woods. And I took it downstairs and I said to him, now just spray that on yourself somewhere and tell me what you think. Anyway, he sprayed it. And obviously you have to wait a while, haven't you? Anyway, there we were and he kept having a sniff, wafting his arm and having a sniff. And he could tell immediately that that was Creed's Adventus. So that, to me, is enough. I, I trust my son 100%. And he said, yeah, definitely. It could smell it. So, if you're thinking of buying a nice smell for your boyfriend, for your husband, for your partner, any man, your dad, 
for Christmas. I can highly, highly, off the back of my son, recommend that one. That's the only men's perfume I've got. Um, and I'm going to give it to my daughter and she's going to give it to her partner. So all the men in our family are going to be smelling very nice. <laughs> but I just thought that's the one I will bring you this month. And honestly, if it wasn't nice and he told me it wasn't nice, I would tell you. But he didn't. He said it's honestly, mum. He said, I don't mind if you tell everybody that I've said that that is beautiful. So that's the... Uh, my dialect vibrant woods perfume of September. <laughs> now um, I'm going to leave, as I say, um, my discount code and the, uh, the link in the description box below, so that you can just go over and have a look at it. So, and I'll also leave the link to the original video where I talk about more about um, dialect as a company, um, but. As I've been speaking, you will have noticed I am putting things across the screen at the bottom. Um, and they're all the things that I love about dialect. Um, but if you want more details, you can pop over to the first video or, of course, click on the link below, go over to the website and have a look for yourself. But I can highly, highly recommend. So let's crack on with this, uh, the rest of this video. So I'll show you the fail first. I can't remember how much you paid for everything, but what I will do is I'll put it on the screen above. So I, I decided, I looked on the Clark's website um, for sandals and um, you, you're talking between 80 and 90 pounds for one pair. So I thought, I wonder if there is any on Vinted because I haven't been on Vinted for ages and ages. I used to sell on Vinted and then I got fed up of posting and having to wrap things up and people messaging you saying, oh, will you take this and will you take that when it's cheap to start with? So, yeah, I fell out with Vinted and then I thought, I'll just go over and have a look. Now, the first thing that I bought, if you remember, was my fabulous blazer that I absolutely love. Um, and then I didn't go on again for ages and ages. And this, I just thought, I'll just have a look. Maybe there's something that would suit me for my holidays because... I've said in previous videos, my feet swell up. They can start swelling on the aeroplane. So I need something with buttles that will move. Do you know what I mean? So they can accommodate my feet, whether my feet are swollen or they're not swollen. And I can just keep moving the bottle or the strap, whatever it might be. So that's what I was looking for. But then I spotted these. And they're a bit like, like a Roman type sandal. Can you see? They're beautiful. The leather, the leather, and why I like Clark's is because of, usually because of the sole. Now it is padded and it is very soft, but I wanted a four and a half and I think this is a four because it's a wee bit tight on my feet and that's back in this country when they're cold, so what would they be like abroad when they swell a bit? So I'm sure it's a four and not a four and a half and not only that, um, I can feel it's embroidered. Can you see on the sole there, Clark's, it says Clark's. And do you know that these are made in China? For anybody that says you shouldn't buy from China, don't buy from Clark's then. Because these are made in China. It's on the sticker on the bottom. But aren't they beautiful? Got that nice heel and this really soft uh, insole. So, and a, adjustable strap, obviously. So I'm afraid those will be going back on Vinted. They're my fail. Now, nothing else is a fail. So first of all, I'll show you these beauties. All from Vinted. These came in the original box. Never been worn. None of them have been worn. And look at these. I haven't decided yet. Well, I think I've decided which I'm taking on holiday. But look at those beauties. Aren't they beautiful? So you will be seeing these. You know, when I do my um, holiday outfits, I might uh, put those on. But I don't think they're going to come with me because, simply because, if my feet swell, this bit here isn't adjustable. 
that bit across there isn't adjustable so if they do swell that they're not going to be any good for me on holiday but they are so comfortable so comfortable and what a beautiful color can you see it's like oh it's like um olive green that's what i call it olive green and i like this weave so yeah that was each shoe came in a little separate bag well packaged beautiful so that's the first pair as i say i'll put the price that i paid from vinted on the bottom of the screen so yeah that's a good addition because i'm gonna go through all my shoes and the ones that aren't comfortable or i think i'm not gonna wear the going and i'm just keeping the comfy ones so these obviously will be keepers so that's the first pair. Clark's collection. That's the feel. And then I got these little beauties. These aren't Clark's, I don't think. But I could tell from the picture that they were going to be comfortable. Look. can you see really nice goldy colour thought they'll be fabulous on holiday and the sole is, again it's cushioned can you see so how nice are they going to be <gasps> beautiful these are called tap tapadas so they're obviously spanish aren't they tapadas Oh yeah, Santa se come still or whatever that means. <laughs> Size 37, so they're a four, but they fit beautiful and soft. So that was those. And then I got these beauties. But then again, I don't think they're going to come on holiday, although they, there is plenty of room there. But if my feet swell, I don't want that aggravating me. And that goes around your ankle like that. And these are a silver colour. Still got the label on. Never been worn. Nice height. Not too high. And they've got the strap that goes around your ankle like that. So that was another beautiful silver. Look. You must go on vintage and have a look. And this is the pair that I think I'm going to take on holiday. Can you see? So that strap, you see, with my feet swell. And, and you'd think it was a buckle, but it's not, look, it's Velcro. So if my feet swell, that is going to adapt and be able to take however swollen my feet are. And the same with this strap here, look. That's Velcro. So that will, uh, I think that they're the ones I'm going to take on holiday. And I think these, because there's like a, a beige, neutral, nudie colour, I think they'll more or less go with every outfit. But I shall see. Very, very comfortable again. Look at the sole. Can you see how squashy it is? I'll be able to dance in them. Which will be good because I couldn't dance before. I could. Yeah, so those are my vintage finds. So, I don't know how long this video has been going. Now then, I do need to tell you something. I'll be back. Wait a minute. Now, you remember the black dress from Esdia and... Um, uh, the competition and the lady that won was Paula Lewis dash IT 4 GN and I haven't heard from her so uh, really Paula um, I'm going to have to um, select a new winner if I don't hear from you let's say I'll give you till Sunday and if I haven't heard from you by Sunday 
I'm really sorry, but um, I'm going to have to um, do the competition again and pick another winner because it's been quite a few. When did I post that? Two weeks ago and I haven't heard anything. So Paula, please do get in touch. All you have to do is email me. My email is always written in the description box. Send me your address, your details, and I'll post it off to you as ASAP. I'm just waiting for you. Um, but if I haven't heard from you by Sunday, well then I will be um, using the random picker to pick another winner. So ladies, watch out for that one. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how long this video is. So I'm going to try and keep up with my exercises. And in November, I'll bring you another perfume. It's not very light in here, is it? Because I've got... Let me pull this down a bit. Still not light, is it? Anyway, nearly finished now. Oh, my bulb's gone. Wait a minute. I don't know if that's any better or not. So I'm popping back in because um, this has arrived and I got this off vintage as well. And this is going to be my beach bag um, or around the pool bag or a shopping bag, whatever. Now, originally, this was at Marks and Spencer's, and I think I paid, prior to postage and packing, I think I paid £4.50 for it. Now, it's this really nice straw. Very, very lightweight, which is what I wanted. It's got leather straps. Leather straps, so it'll be like this. very handy lovely lovely love it and it has a zip fastening so that you can enclose it you know completely and then also inside the bag there is a zip pocket at this side which i imagine is well it's quite deep quite deep in there at that side and then at this side you've just got this little pocket now I think I'm going to purchase you know those um you can get um bag tidies and you put them inside your bag and there's all different compartments in I think I'm going to look for one of those for inside because I don't want to get like uh, suntan you know lotion all over the inside of the bag and everything so yeah i think i might um have a look for a compartment to put inside but how good is that four pound fifty and hardly any weight whatsoever so that's fabulous i'm really really pleased with that another vintage find so if you've enjoyed the video, please do um, give me a thumbs up, put me a heart in the comments section, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already and think, um, hit the notification bell and that way you won't miss an upload. So um, stay well and I hope I can sort my lighting out very, very soon. Sorry about that. And uh, fingers crossed, I shall see you on the next one. So bye for now. Don't forget. Look at the link if you're interested. Beautiful, beautiful for your husband. And they last and last and last. And money back guarantee. If you just spray it and you don't like it, send it back. And dialect will refund you. You can't get much better than that, can you? So bye for now. See you soon.